So a few days ago we went to an auction and my husband got us this plow and we're going to use it to till up our brand new garden. I have never had a large garden but he's hitched up to our 706 and we are going to try to till it up today and see if we can get going planting. I am so late on planting everything but here's the area. These potatoes kind of at the back boundary of where we're going to have the garden and so we're going to have a garden all through this area and then it's going to extend out to the front and over here a bit and hopefully we're going to have peppers and tomatoes and um, more potatoes we bought some more potatoes and then we're going to actually have some corn i'm going to do mountain rado corn so i'm really excited about that and then we're going to have some dried beans then we're going to add to the corn do kind of like the three sister method only um, this year i'm not going to have any squash with it i'm just going to be doing corn and the beans together i've got two or three kinds of beans we got great northern i think some pentos and then i've got some black turtle ones so this whole area hopefully by the end of today is going to be all dug up and we're going to start working the soil add in some aged manure and hopefully we get things planted it is really late in the year but i'm hoping it'll turn out and we can still get things going Probably got more clay or sand in it. Clay? Maybe. Well, we did it. It's all plowed up. It's 
pretty rough right now. But we're going to be smoothing it over with this rototiller over here. We had to take a break for today. But looks like my husband already test drived a spa. We're going to get this all smoothed out. Get the manure all tilled in. And then we can start planting our stuff. I've got several things started already. Here is some of the stuff that I'm going to be planting as soon as we get this all smoothed out. Right here, these ones, I've got two of them. Those are my black beauties. And then there's two in this pot and two in this pot of tomatoes. And honestly, I don't remember which is which. So I have at least one purple Cherokee, one black strawberry, and one black crim. But other than that, I don't remember if there's two of those, of one of those kinds. So we'll see when, it, when they start producing, we'll see what happens. And then right here is some arugula that needs to get transplanted. And then I've got a little basil that needs to get going. And then here is some, I think what you call it, Lycia peppers. And then I've got little cucumbers in here. Another cucumber, another cucumber. Got one more cucumber over here. I got about five cucumbers total. Those are the Bet Alpha cucumber. I hear it's pretty good, so I'm really excited to try that. And then over here, I had to restart some of my peppers because they ended up dying off on me. So I've got about, I think, a total of 12 or 13 bell peppers. There might be some jalapenos mixed in there. I think those may have died off, so I don't think I have any more of those, but they might still be there. And then my mother was nice enough to gift me with, here's another cucumber. Um, but she gifted me with some dragon tongue um, beans. So they're fresh green bean types. And I'm really excited to get them. I think they're supposed to be, I think, um, yellow with purple striping on them. So that's going to be really fun to see in the garden. So, yeah, after we get everything smoothed out, get all of our compost and manure put in where we would like, we're going to get these guys finally planted. I'm so excited. They've been in these pots for way too long. Yeah, we had some stuff happening that got us delayed on getting this garden going, but super excited about it. But as you guys can see over here, my carrots starting to come up. I'm so excited. They're looking pretty good. Some of them didn't um, germinate so I went and filled in some more so I'm still waiting for some of those to sprout and then in between these rows here, here I planted some more seeds so hopefully this way all filled in with carrots and hopefully we won't have any more gaps and I really really need to weed my cilantro but yeah, grass is starting to come in and I've been pretty lax about weeding that. But my other basil here is doing pretty good. So I might just leave him in that pot and not put him into the main garden. And this is my cute pumpkin plant, um, also a gift from my mom. She had some extra. So that worked perfect because my one of my younger sons, his plant he wanted to be was a pumpkin. And this one's those little ones, which is what exactly what he wanted is a sugar pumpkin. So we should get some really good nice puree and pies out of this. It's already starting to bloom, so I'm really hoping to get this in the garden soon. Let it take off. And then here are my other carrots. They're not doing quite as good as the other ones, even though they're planted earlier. I think I got too much shade in this spot, so maybe moving this bin to a little more sunny area. And here's how my lettuce is doing. I'm Actually, a little bit disappointed how they're going. They should have been a little farther along than this because I planted them quite a while ago. But honestly, again, we had too much shade in this area, so I had to turn back some tree branches, and they've already grown a fair amount since we trimmed it back. So I think that was the problem. So I might be trimming more branches back, but hopefully these will start taking off and we can start using our lettuce soon. Here's little Miss Petunia. She is going to get her collar off in just 
a couple of days. I think on Monday she'll be in her car. That'll be a full two weeks since she's had her surgery to remove her eye. <laughs> As you tell, she is desperate to get going. She is so sweet. But she is doing really, really good with it. She is adjusting well. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy with how well she's doing. She's a sweet cat. Let one.